Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about purging. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what purging is, how to know the difference between purging and irritation, how to prevent purging, and how to treat purging. Purging refers to a skin reaction to an ingredient that exfoliates the skin. And it basically is the transient worsening of acne due to the increase in skin cell turnover. This happens with ingredients that are basically chemical exfoliants or retinol. Chemical exfoliants include alpha hydroxy acid and it also includes beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid uh, and benzoyl peroxide, another ingredient that exfoliates the skin. And then of course, retinol. As these ingredients exfoliate, they slough off the top dead layer of skin cells, allowing new healthier skin cells to come to the surface. But with that, they can bring along any subsurface acne. You may see that you're getting more pimples and that's what's referred to as purging. This process does not occur because the ingredient causes more acne. It occurs because the ingredient brings about acne that already existed. You just couldn't see it. Acne starts under the skin as a microcomedo and then with time that pore becomes more plugged up and inflammatory cells come in and that's why you get redness and pustules sometimes, you get blackheads, you get whiteheads eventually. But with the retinol or the um, chemical exfoliant, because it's increasing skin cell turnover, it's going to expedite the appearance of that lesion that is sitting under the skin. The good news is that the purging process is temporary. It typically lasts around two to three weeks in which you're going to notice more pimples. The acne that you'll start seeing during this purging process, you may note is different in appearance than the acne that you typically get. It may be more red, inflamed, you may have more pustules, which are those little pus-filled bumps. And the reason for this is that the retinol or the chemical exfoliant that you're using, because it increases skin cell turnover, one thing that happens is that you also end up losing a lot of water out of the skin. That leads to dryness and more irritation and more inflammation in the skin. So your acne may become temporarily a little more inflammatory and may look a little angrier, so to speak, than your baseline acne. Now, not all skin reactions that happen when you start uh, a chemical exfoliant or a retinol, not all of them are purging. So how do you tell the difference between purging and irritation? Well, think about the duration. Purging, which is the transient worsening of acne, it should really only last two to three weeks. I read sometimes on you know different internet forums or even in the comments, people will say, I've been purging for months now. That's not purging uh, off the bat. Purging should not last that long. It should really only last a few weeks. Anything longer than that, it's probably that the product is too irritating and you should check in with your dermatologist to reassess if that's right for you. Um, it may be something else in the product or the prescription that you're irritated by or maybe something else that you're using at the same time. Another way to tell the difference between purging and irritation is the location of the breakout. If you're having breakouts on areas of the face, for example, that in the past you never had breakouts, chances are that's actually irritation. Because remember, the, ex the exfoliant or the retinol, it's really just accelerating the rate of appearance of existing acne. So if you're getting breakouts in areas that you never had acne before, that's more likely irritation. If you've developed a reaction to a new product and you're wondering, is this irritation or is this purging? Take a look at the ingredients. Ingredients that can cause purging are going to be chemical exfoliants and retinol. So things like alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, benzoyl peroxide, and retinol, retinaldehyde, adapalene, tretinoin, tazeratine, uh, or tazerac. These ingredients are prescription medications. They increase skin cell turnover, so they're likely to be associated with purging. Now, they can cause irritation as well, but if you're using a product that doesn't have those things in it, like a moisturizer, uh, more often than not, that's going to be an irritant contact dermatitis. Uh, to, to something in the product, maybe it you know is, is too occlusive, and it's causing an irritant acne-like reaction. All right, so now that you have an idea of what purging is and how it differs from irritation, how can you prevent purging, that two to three week period of time of worsening of acne when starting a chemical exfoliant or retinol? Truthfully, you can't prevent it. And uh, you know, just kind of reconcile with the idea that the purging process is a manifestation that the ingredient is at least working for your skin. 
Um, however, there are some things that you can do to minimize the extent, the severity, if you will, of purging. First of all, make sure that you are moisturizing consistently. I recommend actually amping up your moisturizing game <laughs> a few weeks before starting a retinol to make sure that the skin barrier is hydrated and healthy. You don't want to start retinol or retinoid or a chemical exfoliant on dry skin. That will increase the risk of irritation and add to the transepidermal water loss. So that's going to make the purging process more inflammatory for you. The other thing to do is to avoid excessive sun exposure and protect your skin from the sun with sunscreen and sun protective clothing. Sun drives more inflammation into the skin, more irritation. That's going to make the purging process more inflammatory for you and also put you at risk for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The melanocytes are going to be too active and you, you know that purging process can end up healing with a dark mark which you don't want and then the other tip to reduce the severity of purging is to go really slow with starting the active ingredient use just a small amount I think there's this idea that you need a big glob but really you only need a thin film uh, to cover the face uh, in the case of treating the face um, same goes for any body site, by the way. Um, but yeah, go really slowly, and I, you know, I recommend trying the ingredient once a week uh, for a few weeks, then increasing to maybe twice a week, every other night, then up to daily. That slow introduction allows your skin to kind of get used to some of the drying and irritating parts of the topical, and so it's going to reduce the severity of the purging process. It's going to be less inflammatory if you go really slowly and conservatively versus going all at once. And make sure you scrutinize your other skincare products before starting uh, a chemical exfoliant or a retinol. Make sure you're not already using ingredients in your skincare routine that exfoliate the skin. Uh, for example, some moisturizers may have alpha hydroxy acids in them, which can lightly exfoliate. That's going to potentially uh, exacerbate the severity of the purge uh, when, say, for example, you start uh, a chemical exfoliant or a retinol. You've already got a, a chemical exfoliant on board. But if you're coming here and you already are in the throes of purging, how do you treat purging? Truthfully, you kind of have to just wait it out. Uh, and be patient. As I said, it should only last two to three weeks. If it lasts longer than that, definitely check in with your dermatologist to reassess what it is that you're doing. Make sure that there are, you know, isn't something else in your routine or some other ingredient that is aggravating your skin. Don't pick, pop, squeeze, or manipulate anything on your skin ever, but if you're going through the purging process and you start squeezing or trying to extract, really that, that's just gonna make your skin angrier and rebel and it's going to make things more inflammatory. It's gonna push you over to that irritant dermatitis uh, side of things and it's gonna last, end up lasting longer for you. So don't manipulate your skin uh, with any tools or devices. Really make sure if you are in the throes, especially of a purge, that you are being very diligent with the sun protection because again, you don't want that purge to heal with any hyperpigmentation. You don't wanna drive excessive inflammation into the skin through sun exposure. Uh, so make sure that during, during, I mean all the time, make sure you're protecting your skin from the sun, but you can see how it's really important in this setting in particular. And then of course, continue to moisturize. I think people are very fearful of moisturizers that they're going to break them out even further, they're gonna clog pores. But truthfully, remember, as your skin is exfoliating, you now have a barrier defect going on that needs uh, addressing with a moisturizer because that barrier defect is going to cause you to have more water loss out of the skin, more dryness, more irritation, that's going to lead to more peeling and aggravated skin. So you wanna make sure that you're moisturizing. Uh, and I recommend uh, starting on a clean face that you have already moisturized before applying the chemical exfoliant or retinol. That way you are setting yourself up for success because if you put it on dirty skin or skin that you've just washed and not moisturized, the skin barrier is impaired and you're more likely to develop irritation. So do it that way. It doesn't interfere with the penetration of the active ingredient to do it that way, it reduces irritation. This isn't gonna stop or get rid of purging, but it's gonna make it more bearable, it's gonna make it less inflammatory, and then it'll be over, and you know, it's a good sign if, in, in a sense because it shows you that the active ingredient is actually getting in and facilitating that skin cell turnover, uh, so it's a good thing, uh, but hopefully these tips help in reducing the severity. 
And then the last tip for dealing with purging is make sure that you are not over cleansing. And by over cleansing, I mean washing your face multiple times a day, using harsh cleansers um, that strip the skin barrier, using hot water to wash your face. All of these things, they're just gonna, you know, they're gonna strip away your lipid barrier even further. They're gonna lead, cause you to have more water loss out of the skin. They're gonna worsen that dryness and irritation. So, I mean, obviously you do need to wash your face, but just keep it to like once a day in the evening time to remove sunscreen, cosmetics, dirt, etc. cetera. Um, and stick to a gentle cleanser using, of course, lukewarm water, as I suggested. Good news though, if you are going through purging, uh, you know, it is again, just temporary. It's not causing the acne. It's really just bringing acne to the surface that was already there. But if it lasts longer than three weeks, definitely check in with your derm. That's not typical. And it's a sign that maybe something else is going on. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys in terms of clarifying the differences between purging and irritation and how to deal with purging. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.